El Gallego Negro, Lorenzo Moreno. Dirty Dave Moreno. Here we go Moreno, another Moreno from the Bulls pen here. Moreno's the, the name of the night. Yeah, I mean, uh, another Moreno. Now, are these Morenos all related, or? I believe they are, from the Bulls pen at least. Mm -hmm. um, I hope they're not finding their cousin in uh, Dirty Dave Moreno here. You know, it's it's uh, as soon as you know we, you see that you see the fight, you're thinking Morenos are fighting in Moreno. Nice arm lock position right there, but Lorenzo Moreno. Have to go by first we have to this. go by first names for <laughs> this one. Again, if you're joining us, welcome to the Blaisdell Arena. Honolulu, Hawaii, X1 World Events. We're bringing you Battlegrounds for our second official fight of the night. Two Morenos going at it. It is uh, myself, McCunny, and my good friend, Mike Anzuka. we got Lorenzo from the Bulls pen on top here. Nice little ex exchange. Dirty Dave kind of came out really amped up as he ran into the fight, ran into the ring here. So we've got Dirty Dave and what they call Lorenzo El Gallego Negro. Translation? <laughs> Some Brazilian thing. <laughs> and I won't say anything more. <laughs> nice little chain exchange right there by um, Dirty Dave. He's on top of the monopoly. Nice full, I mean nice, almost a little bit too high, what do you say? Actually, this is actually a good position. The higher he is, away from is the hips okay. of it, so when he bumps and he rolls, yeah, it, he right. can't push off. But he's got to worry about those legs. Runs with such a long guy, he gets those legs under hook and he kind of try to you know, peel the guy right off. Him. That's what he's trying to do right here. Again, the, the beauty of mixed martial arts, you think if, if, if he's riding too high, it's a bad position. And it comes down to if the, if the fighters, you know, some fighters got long torsos so they can, and long legs. Yeah, both of these guys actually do have long nice. legs. Long torsos here. Elbow to the forehead. Of course, trying to uh, create some space so he can do his ground and pound. Nice job by Dirty Dave right here, keeping him out. This is actually the position where I advertise, you know, Dave can hit Lorenzo. It's very difficult for, I mean, yeah, Dave can hit Lorenzo. Lorenzo has a hard time, you know, hitting him. He's setting up an armor right oh, here. There's the legs. Oh, it's not. He's trying to straighten him out here. Deep. I mean, he went for a full flex on that one. It, it just went backwards. He's doing a good it, job of turning that, that wrist a little bit to kind of get out. Might have got his arm top right there. Yeah. Unless he turned it a little before that. That's some blood. That's some blood off of uh, Lorenzo. Lorenzo calling him up for a stand-up battle. And I think blood coming from the eye or the nose, but it seems to be affecting his uh, vision. Vision in the uh, right eye. You see it there, kind of squinting. Not sure if he got hit. The first round. An unbelievable arm bar. I mean, he, you could you see it flexed backwards. And, of course, a great job in reversing it. Might have busted his nose right there. We come back here. Is the mount position? Lorenzo kind of takes a chance. Nice arm right here. <laughs> you see the elbow kind of turn out. If you turn his thumb up, it allows his uh, elbow to kind of bend the right way. And what happens? Dave didn't go after his wrist to correct that arm to the turn. Gave Lorenzo a chance to stand, you know, get to the top position. Try to set it up again. I think that uh, the blood came from this elbow. There it is. There it is. Huge elbow right there. Looks like it was just above the eye, but maybe they hit him in the nose. Of course, it, uh, you see it towards the end of that match affecting his his right eye. They're kind of determining if they can actually see out of that eye. And his father's complaining, but... And I, of, of course, you can see it towards the end of the match, uh, just squinting and, and, and trying. He's got the official word from the um, referee. Looks like he might have a corneal scratch. It's kind of scratch on the eye itself. Having difficulty for him to see. So we're going to call this fight right here. Fighter safety always paramount and it's kind of important, especially the eyes. You know, they won't even take a chance. If you All right, another one for these fighters. Corneal scratch. This one's by uh, Dr. Stoppage. Uh, accidental poke to the eye, scratch the cornea. So ladies and gentlemen, please give our fighters a round of applause. Sometimes that's what happens in mixed martial arts.